everyone. Welcome to one more of uh, my YouTube tutorials. This is Leticia and I'm from Jewels for You. And what you're looking at on your screen are three different pairs of three different styles of earrings that I made for our necklace component that we made last time. If you if you remember, let me zoom out a little bit. This is the necklace. Let me move this. This is the necklace, if you remember well, that we made last time with our components. And it could very easily be a bridal necklace. Now, um, these components I made using a size, let me show you, a size 3 pearl, which is very small. If you compare the component, if you compare this component to this one, you can see that it's really small. Okay, so the pearl is a size 3, and I also used transparent 11 oz beads let me show you one here let me focus there okay these are the size three pearls and the seed beads are transparent okay i don't think there are any kind of crystals this size so yeah and these are the three different type of earrings that I came up with that could be used with that necklace. You can, you can um, practice making some yourself, any kind of earring that you wish. And um, you can also use this one, you, like for example this one, you can also use some silver dainty wire and put either a big pearl or a big crystal at the top that would be completely up to you um, you can play around and you'll come up with something now these are chandelier earrings and the chain that I used is in a gold color also the ear hook is in a golden color as well okay and I used gold color 22 gauge wire to make the ear um, the loops inside the component to hook the chain I'll show you how in a little in a while um, this one is in silver and I used silver wire to make like a very small bail so that I could use this kind of bead uh, beading wire that we used last time also it's the 49 strand beading wire so we're going to be needing crimp beads for that but I will be giving you the materials that you will need for each one and of course the um, silver colored ear hook and for this one I used this kind of ear hook as I said uh, it's called a French ear hook and they sell them in small bags in the finding section of either Michaels or um, in Hobby Lobby of course in the jewelry section the general jewelry section you're, you'll just have to look for them and the reason that I put the component this way is because when you put the earring on it's going to face towards the front. If I would have put it um, the other way around, this way, when you face the front, it's going to be looking this way, like that. So it wouldn't, you know, you it wouldn't be appreciated. That's why um, I put it like this. It looks sort of funny, but, um, well, that is because of the kind of you can't move actually you can't move this the, the wire to do 
to go some other way so yeah you would have to twist it then it would lose its its shape so let's start our tutorial um, first we're going to make the simplest one which is this one it's the fastest one and for this one you're going to be needing the French ear wire you're going to be needing two pearls four crystals and one component okay so what we're going to do this is really fast oh and you're going to you're going to be needing of course um round nose pliers chain nose pliers your wire cutters and um a crimper hold on please a your uh your crimp your crimper you could use an extra set of pliers either these kind that have like a rounded out nose or you can use the long hook pliers like these or another pair of the same kind of chain nose pliers but you do need two because sometimes you can't use the round nose pliers to help you out so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our ear hook let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing you're going to take your ear hook and you're going to start with you're going to insert one crystal I'm sorry let me put it like that one crystal one pearl let me see where the hole is I'm gonna change sides I'm right-handed okay one pearl one crystal then you're going to run your component this way you're going to run it run the hook through the center of it like so like that let me zoom out a little bit more like that then you're going to put another crystal another pearl I always have problems with pearls they have such small perforations And then the nails don't help much. Can't see. Okay, there you go. I put the pearl in. And it seems to be a tight fit. Okay. And then the last crystal. Last crystal. And then you're just going to run it through. Um the what the little loop in the wire and then what you're going to do is that you're going to take your round nose pliers or your chain nose pliers whichever and you're going to make, give it a little twist upwards so that it doesn't slip out okay and there you have your first earring component your first earring there you go your first earring and now you have your first pair of earrings uh, focus okay there you go 
your first pair of earrings and they're very pretty with their little crystals and everything okay so the next earring that we're going to make is this one and for this one we're going to be needing some jump one jump ring and we're going to need two crimp beads let me take them out of the bag two crimp beads and you're going to need some of this wire which is the which is the uh, Samba Pro 49 strand wire you can buy there are other brands that you could use it doesn't necessarily have to be the Samba Pro uh, that's the one I use that's the one I buy but as long as it's a uh, 49 strand that's perfect now it says here that it's clear uh, I it's not necessarily so it's always in this color like a wire color it's like a silver grayish color so um, we're going to be using this wire and we're only going to be using about let's see let me just measure about five inches of it no less than that we're going to be using about four inches so we're not going to be using that much so let me cut it we're going to be needing four inches of that wire and of course we're going to be needing our ear hook and um another no no more oh and some wire some uh, 24 gauge of your silver beading wire that you may have left from another project we're just going to be using very little of it we're going to be using about an inch and a half or two inches okay this is as much as we need so i'm going to cut it and this is the reason why we're going to need this wire okay we need to make a small bale here we need to make a small bale to run our wire through okay right there okay so what we're going to do is remember I told you that your component has a pearl on the top and two crystals, two crystal openings on the bottom. Opposite of this is um, a crystal opening. Okay, so if you want it to hang, you're going to run your wire or whatever element that you're going to hang it from through the pearl or through the two crystal units on the side. If you want it to hang less, then you go to the bottom and you run it through these units down here. I'm sorry, it, um, here. Okay, this is a pearl. I'm going to show it to you on the bigger one. It's easier to explain. Okay. So, here's the pearl. And you can see that there's two crystal components on each side. And opposite, going down from the pearl, there's a crystal. There's a crystal unit. So, and then you have two crystal units over here. You have two pearls and then two crystal units. If you want, and this is where we ran our, uh, when we made our necklace, we used this bottom side. Well, it could be bottom or top this side the side that has the crystal in the center so that the component wouldn't be hanging so low if we would have hung it through th these components next to the pearl it would be hanging low so 
this time we are going to be using the components uh, we're going to be using the pearl side so we're going to run our thread through the pearl I mean our wire sorry about that we're going to run our wire through the pearl and if you need to help yourself with your wires just help yourself with the wires there and we're going to pull it up until our wires meet right there and we're going to put them together and then twist them leaving a very small um, opening here if you don't want to you don't have to but it would look nicer if you leave an opening so we're going to twist our wires and then we're going to cut them so they are even then we're going to take our round nose pliers and sort of like in the middle we're going to start twisting we're going to start twisting to make a small bale and there we have our small bale okay so that we can run our um, jump ring through it through it so what we're going to do next is we're going to open our jump ring twisting it to the side and we're going to put it through our earring I'm sorry no I'm sorry this is not what we do here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take our this wire and we're going to put our we were, we're going to put it through one of our crimp beads you can hardly see it um, here these are really tiny crimp beads put it through the crimp bead and then we're going to run it through the little bale pull the crimp bead back and pull the wire th th against uh, through the crimp bead again Hold on. there then what we're going to do this crimp bead is really small there okay we're gonna hold this and then we're going to put on pull on the longer side on the longer side of the wire until uh, the crimp bead is really close to the bale we're going to leave just a very small um, loop down there so that it can have some kind of movement but that's about it then we're going to take our crimp pliers our crimping pliers and these pliers what they do is first they make a W we're going to squeeze them but since this crimp see how it flattens them and it makes like a little W but on these since they are so so small we're gonna have to use our um, chain nose pliers to close them the other way so that they make like half a circle there if we pull that wire is going nowhere okay so now we're going to start piling our um, our crystals and our pearls and we have one crystal one pearl one crystal one pearl so we have three crystals and three pearls 
starting with a crystal. So we're going to first, I'm sorry if there's so many shadows. Um, there, let me pull this away. First, we're going to start with a crystal. And we're going to pull it all the way down. And we're going to try to insert inside the crystal that little piece of wire left over. There, like that so that you can't see it okay we leave it like that now we're going to put in a pearl then another crystal another pearl another crystal and lastly we're going to put the last pearl there So we have all our beads in there. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, here. There. So uh, now what we're going to do is take our second crimp bead. Where is it? I lost it. No, here it is. Oh gosh. Okay, let me take out another crimp bead because I lost that one. So we're going to take another crimp bead. Like so. We're going to run our wire through it. Like so. And then we're going to, now we're going to take a jump ring, a close jump ring. We're going to pass our wire through the jump ring and then come back out and run it through the crimp bead again. Okay. And then we're going to pull, we're going to pull our work upwards and then pull on the string that we just ran through the, um, the, the little, um, crimp bead. Okay pulling all our work so that the crimp bead is close to the beads and we just leave one small tiny loop near the jump ring. Then we're going to use our crimping pliers to close that and obviously this little thing is, I mean, this crimp bead is much too small for the crimping pliers. So I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to close it. There. Okay. Now, if you can, if you can, try to um, run your wire through the first bead 
again downwards if you can and since it's a pearl I don't think I'm gonna be able to I had the same problem with the other one um, not that this wire is gonna go anywhere but it would be nice to pass it through oh here it seems like it's going through okay So once you pass it through that first bead, it's going to come out through the, the bead and then you're going to cut it. Let me use some other cutters. These are not that good. There. Okay, so um, now that that's cut, we're going to open our jump ring sideways. And we're going to run it through our ear hook. and then close it again oh, there oh, it's closed yes Okay. Oh no, it didn't. What happened? Oh. Okay. I'm going to do that again. I'm so sorry. I'll open my jump ring. I'll run it through this little loop here. And then I'm going to close it. Sorry. Oh, gosh. I'm going to use another jump ring. This one is really damaged. Okay, so let's open our jump ring again. Sideways. There. Run it through the little loop in the earring and the ear hook and then just close it. didn't close oh my goodness okay let me just take my chain of pliers and this these oh. there you go okay so now it is closed there so there we have our second earring 
Focus. Come on. Come on. There. Okay. So there we have our second earring. Where's the first one? Here it is. And you have a very beautiful pair of earrings to go with the necklace if you want them in a silver color. Okay. Now we're going to make the last one, which is this one. Now for this one, we're going to be needing two and a half inches of very, very thin wire in a gold color or a silver color. That is your preference. If you're using a gold color, then you're going to need a gold jump ring. If you're using a silver color, then you're going to be needing a silver jump ring. Okay, so like I said, um, where you're going to need two and a half inches of gold colored wire. Then you're going to need one gold colored jump ring to go with the wire. And of course, your gold colored ear hook. And your component plus two inches of gold colored wire uh, 22 gauge 22 gauge okay so let's put this aside and first we're going to be working with our wire now what we're going to do is we're going to make a small loop but we're go it's going to be a wrapped loop so we need to leave a little bit more at the end than three fourths of an than one fourth of an inch this is more like three fourths of an inch okay so we're going to make our 90 degree bend then we're going to take it twist our hand and make the loop on the thinnest part or close to the thinnest part of our um, round nose pliers and we bring our wire forward and then with our hand we're going to make two wraps just two we don't need more than that and we're going to cut off the excess I'm sorry about my hands it's just that I've been working and I really couldn't find my scrub brush um, okay so there we cut the excess and then you take your chain nose pliers and you just tuck it in tuck in any ends that might be loose or I mean not loose but that may be sticking up so you don't poke anybody okay run your finger through it make sure it's it's not you know pokey or anything there we have a very small loop right there then we're going to sort of like bend it a little bit and then we're going to run it through again this is a pearl and we're going to run it through the uh, two side units with the seed beads. Okay, we're going to put it through one and take it out uh, uh, through the other one. There. We're going to put it through one, take it out through the other one. There. Let me do it again because I was out of frame. I mean out of folk. Yeah, out of frame. Okay, um, we put it in through one side and we take it out on the other side like that. We push it so that that little loop is right there. 
and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side but this time we're going to do it really close to the component this is this earring is a little bit more difficult than the others okay so right here close to the component we're going to make that 90 degree turn towards the bottom then bring okay hold on <clears throat> bring our ear our uh, wire up and then we're going to wrap it around that little loop that we just made. I'm sorry, I was out of frame again. Oh my God, I keep going out of frame. Okay, we gotta make that loop really small looking. There. Okay. Okay, we make our two wraps. One. And you're going to have to help yourself with your chain nose pliers because it's going to be pretty tight in there. Okay, so here we have our two wraps and we take our nose pliers, our chain nose pliers, either these or the others, it doesn't really matter. We're going to cut off the excess because there is going to be some excess. And then we're going to take our chain nose pliers and just tuck it in really, really well. Tuck it in really well. And make sure that both of your loops are facing the same way. Okay? Just like in this one. They have to be facing upwards and towards the front. So they're going to be facing upwards and towards the front, like that, okay? So now we're going to take our chain and let me just put on my magnifying cap because this is really small chain, okay? So we're going to look for the opening on the chain and we're going to open it. I'm going to use my, um, these other ones. And my round nose because that other one is really funny there we're going to open it to the side and you can see it's open can you see that it's open there you can see that it's open Okay, so you can see that it's open and we're going to insert one of the sides, one of our loops in it and we're going to close it. Okay, there you go.
so it's closed then we're going to go to the other side we're going to go to the other side of the chain look for the opening where we can open it right here there you go we're going to open it this is a twisted chain that's why it's a little bit more difficult oh gosh okay i opened it the, the wrong way so it fell the opening was on the bottom okay so i'm gonna have to put it back into the chain there and also i'm gonna put it through the loop on the component oh gosh okay let's see this i oh, know i lost it <laughs> it probably f oh no here it is it's right here so i'm gonna put it through here And I'm also going to put it through, I'm also going to put it through the loop in the earring and I'm going to close it. Remember that we close it sideways. Oh my gosh, this is really difficult. Okay. Well, I didn't have so much trouble with the other one. Okay, this is... I want to use the chain nose pl the round nose pliers to do this. Because they're a little bit more dainty. Okay, so we run through here. There. Then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers close it there it's closed make sure that the ends are really closed because it's not really closed see it keeps slipping out I am so sorry about this, but it could happen. Especially with such small chains, it happens. So you have to be really, really careful. There. Okay. So, we have it closed. There. We have both of them. And now we're going to have to look for the center up here. Just sort of um, take it with your pliers and see which one is the center chain and I think it's this one right here that's the center chain so I'm going to run my um, how do you call it my jump ring I'm going to run through it run it through this chain right in the center and close it oh no i'm sorry run it through the loop in the ear hook and then i'm going to close it it's 
there you go okay so there you have your second set your second uh, set of earrings chandelier earrings there you go and for those who are wondering yes they're both the same length okay there you go let me take all this out of here out of the background so you can see clearly there they are both the same length from the jump rings to the bottom okay okay so now we have this set of earrings this set of earrings and this set of earrings I think they're all very beautiful and you can use them whichever ones you wish if you made um, if you made the necklace with the pearls and in that color you can use whichever pair of earrings you wish or you can alternate them you know use one pair once use another pair again and if you made your necklace with other color components like the ones I had showed you before like in the light green or the pink or um, this purple one hold on um, I can't take it out of here hold on please there or the purple one um, you can make the earrings to match the color just by the pearls Just buy the pearls, um, buy the pearls in the same color as the big pearls, and you have yourself a very nice set of earrings and bracelet. Okay, so now, as I had mentioned in my blog, if you saw my blog, uh, I am going to um, make the, um, how do you call it, the memory wire bracelet for our next tutorial. I'm going to make the memory wire bracelet and um, I'm going to be using the components again. But this time I'm going to be using it in the middle size, in this size, the size between this one and the small one these are size five pearls uh, so I'm going to be making it in um, I could be making it in the same color as this but I don't think I have pearls that size so I think I'm gonna be making the bracelet either in blue or maybe in um, this color in purple I think I have beads in that color it'll be a surprise I'm sorry it'll be a surprise but just get ready with your memory wire which comes like this and uh, your set of you're going to be needing round nose pliers of course chain nose pliers and a re and really good cutters um, because memory wire even though it looks thin like I said it's very sturdy and um, it's very hard to cut. You will have a hard time if you don't have a good pair of, ply of uh, cutters. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the comment section. 
If you like the video, please like it. Um, you know, click the like button and subscribe in um, in the box below or um, you, there is a section where you can click su subscribe and like I said before I will be making um, for those of you that watched my blog I will be making changes to the to the channel I'm going to be um, changing the logo I'm going to be changing the introduction and um, I don't know what else I will be changing but I will be changing several things uh, so uh, with nothing more to say, I um, ask you again, um, if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, comment, ask. And I will see you next time. Bye.